In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. A foretaste of heaven. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Revelation 21, verse 5. In this morning's meeting, we were listening to the testimonies born here. And as the last hymn was sung, When shall we meet again, meet ne'er to sever? I almost forgot myself. My mind reached over to the other shore, to the time when there will be a grand meeting in the city of God around the great white throne, and the redeemed will be singing there of triumph and of victory and of praise to God and to the Lamb. Well now, it brought such a solemn sweet feeling upon me, it softened my heart, and I could not prevent the tears from flowing. Oh, what happiness we shall enjoy gathered around about the throne, clothed in the white robes of the righteousness of Christ. No more sorrow, no more separation, but to dwell in peace, to dwell in happiness, to dwell in glory through the ceaseless ages of eternity. What a happy, happy company we may be. Now let us consider the same privileges here. When we consider the infinite sacrifice of our Savior, that we might become children of God and members of the royal family, when we consider this exaltation, when we consider that all these privileges will be ours and may be ours every day, that we may have the privileges which belong to the sons and daughters of God, how can any one of us have any word of complaint? How can any one utter one word of murmuring? How can it dwell in our hearts? We ought to be the most grateful people on the face of the earth. Our happiness is dependent on our faith in God, our confidence in Him. And then when we think of what a hope we have, of what a faith we have, that it reaches right into the other world, when we know that it will continue unto the ceaseless ages of eternity, I want to know how you feel in regard to these pleas that have been presented to you tonight. If there is anything I can put into this work, that shall go. But there are many who are willing to give of their means, but they withhold themselves. Why is it we do not find more who give themselves to this work?